What are we gonna do? Hey, hey, ho, 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 and you've got to pull down and you've got to confront these industries that will kill you and your children. They think they'll get away with it because they've got money. But money doesn't isolate you from climate change and the death of the planet. These people are stupid, they're ignorant, and they're committing crimes against humanity. people would be in jail for the damage they've done already, let alone the damage they've done in the future. Recently we hit 400 parts per million of CO2 in the atmosphere and that guarantees that the world will be at least two degrees warmer by 2030, 2040 and beyond that uh, the world will become uninhabitable to, for, uninhabitable for people and animals and plants and all sorts of things. So these people who are fracking for gas, who are digging up coal, who are transporting it, who are burning it, are committing crimes against humanity. These are crimes against humanity and our political Legal system and our legal system should hold these people to account. These people should be in jail for the damage they cause to our generation and the generations to come. We're going to live on a dead planet because these people are unconstrained. And we have democratic movements in this country and around the world who are demanding that they are free of these people and the damage they do and our parliaments and our legal systems support them. So shame on them all. They should all be in jail and we must now get involved in direct action. We have to pull these people down, we have to pull their rigs down, we've got to stop them digging, stop them drilling, we've got to save the planet, because nobody else will. We need all parties to commit to significant investment in renewable energy to secure a safe and clean future for all Victorians, to protect jobs in manufacturing, agriculture and tourism, and to allow our communities to be heavily involved in a consultation process that currently does not exist. And the message we send to you today is make no mistake, you ignore us at your peril. I look around at all of you here today who are inspirational and brave, courageous and determined, and I know that together, no matter how long the battle, that we will and we can protect all the things that these industries put at risk. I will end by leaving you with a quote from the inspirational Drew Hutton. When our leaders fail us, then ordinary people have got to become heroes. Yeah.